Hey, welcome back to Volk Super Works. I've got my son AJ here. He's building us a fire. It's a little, a little chilly in uh, northeastern Kentucky. He's going to get it uh, warmed up here. I'm going to kind of show you around this engine a little bit. This is uh, this is top four project I've been working on. Kind of keep it covered up because of the sawdust I've been working on my wife's uh, kitchen for. I'll open this up. Get this uh, cover off here. Kind of show you around the engine a little bit. I'm a big fan of the uh, top four. I kind of cut my teeth like everybody else on, on top ones. And these are a little different. Uh, I guess they're, you know, if you've never worked on them before, I guess they could be considered a, a little intimidating at first. But once you get familiar with it, they're, they're a lot like the old Type 1 motors. Uh, the thing I like about them the best, it seems like they did, everything they did with this was uh, kind of evolved into what Volkswagen always wanted the Type 1 to be, in my opinion. Like, just for one example, on the old Type 1s, you had just the big gland nut back here that could come loose if you didn't get it torqued enough uh, this has a five bolt design to hold the flywheel on I like that a lot that happened to be uh, this is a uh, actually what you call a flex plate for a uh, automatic transmission um, everything's just a little more rugged on these like they had their own um, oil filter that bolted on here big improvement larger mains and these cases are made the cases on the on the type four are made out of aluminum not magnesium so it's a it's a more durable foundation to build off of and i got a lot of the parts over here that i've been working on the cooling tins uh got the fan here been cleaning it all up painted with high temperature paint and I'm hoping to make this engine a real success. It's really what, what I'm doing. The, the engine was just at some compression losses. So all I'm going to do with this engine, since the bottom end is good, you can see, I think you can see, on the um, cam lobes, these engines on the, the top four runs forever as far as the, the basic block goes. Um, but your cylinders will, will wear out. One way you can tell how much wear you have internally is by looking at the cam lobes. And these cam lobes are in excellent shape. So I'm really, I guess, taking the small chance in my mind uh, with just putting a new set of pistons and cylinders on this engine. Um, but I'm really, I'm fairly certain that I'm in good shape. There's a few other things I have to do to this engine before it's ready to go in. I do want to lube my cam up really good, and then I'm gonna kind of just, I'm gonna, when I get it built, I'm gonna crank it over, free crank it with, you know, no plugs in it, get the old pressure built up. I do want to lube the cam lobes though with some white grease. That's one of the last things to get lubricant when a motor fires up with a Volkswagen anyway. Um, I need to plug this off. This is the where the fuel pump goes on a Type 4 engine. Um, I'm going to be running a three and a half pound rotary pump with a set of dual Weber carbs on this engine. So I do need to, to I'm going to make a fabricate a piece to go over top of this. And I'm going to, also another thing I'm doing here, I'm just polishing the top of the block. Uh, let me get one of the uh, cylinder tins. I'll show you why I'm just doing the top. These engines are, the, they cool completely different than the, uh, than the Type 1. You can see these tins, they bolt on here. And that's all you see. That, that's all you see at the top of the block. So all this area, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up and polish because they were so ugly. When they, when they cast these blocks from the factory, you can see this where I've filed, I've taken and I've filed in the center here where it was offset. I'll show you another one of my blocks over here in a minute, the difference. And they had some really rough casting. So. I just got started with this. This is not a finished product, but you can see by this engine over here where I've, what I've been doing. If you can see this here, that offset. Now that this engine is put together, just, you know, it's, it's dialed and it all fits up good. But from the factory, the way the casting was, it was just really rough. 
and this right here you can see this I've taken all that off of the block over there okay enough with the block I'm gonna go ahead and get started on a project and I will return